Ready? Yeah. All right. Oh, Ready? yeah, we're ready, Chin. Fresh, fresh from a very hot Phoenix. It's. Did you notice that when we got there, we got to our Airbnb, we saw a dead dove. And he died from heat? Probably. None of us picked it up. We just left well, it we in the driveway. We can't touch him. He has SARS. Well, I was going to pick him up with a, give him a proper barrel and a plastic bag and put him in the trash. No. Nah. But I said we just left him there. No one even touched him. Well, we we're all scared of it. But That's also, how guys are, though. Yeah, but also, but, but I, I, well, I thought about, oh, maybe uh, those run, road runners that eat them. There's a bunch of road runners. They don't eat their own bird. They don't eat, they eat insects, or road runners. But like, like a, Some could eat it, it, it was kind of an ominous thing. A dove, the symbol of peace, mm -hmm. lay dead. He was dirty, though. Dirty dove. Three thicks, three sticks. Three sticks, in that house. three six. Three, th and three, three black men and three <laughs> white men. We, we <laughs> represent two white, unity. Two dude. white men. Well, I mean, two blacks. Yeah, that's what I meant. But I was thinking oh, about Mark. Justin. Justin, too, though. Oh, yeah, Justin was there. Fuck yeah, yeah you're right. Three Justin, they, they all did so great. How about that show? The last show. show. It was Justin. What the hell's Justin's last name? The fuck. It was Malik. How great is that fucking picture? It was Chappelle. That's a great shot right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go up to the one of Chappelle doing the backflip. The picture of my dick Top is right. so obscene. Top right. Well, that's the greatest picture in comedy, sir. I would imagine Troy so. Conrad. Look at, look at I, Malik's I, face. I told Troy, because he did the first show, I went, dude, Next time he does that, make sure you send me a picture of him with fully upside down. It's going to be the post of the week, man. You got to get it. It's so good. <clears throat> Desert Honey Savages. <laughs> I wish I said Desert that. Honey Savages. Stevie Blue Eyes. Some of the best shows we've, I would say some of the best shows I've ever had. 100%. That early Thursday was a little tough. I just want to do that all the time. Well, the early show, well, let me just say this. My, if you saw me early <laughs> Thursday, and I'm going to say it out loud. I've been doing comedy for a long time. Some people would say I do pretty well at comedy. Some people would say- One of the best. One of the best. Some, I've heard that. One of the Maybe best. Some people would say I make people laugh hard for a long time. Yes. Right? Um, I haven't had a set that bad in 20 years. Oh, no. Even Kobe has an off night. I'm telling you, dude. Really? Yeah. I, I came off but and you know, I went, but, but, but I knew something was I, up. I knew something was up because Malik starts the show. He might be the best opener. Oh, he's a killer. Because he's a killer, but his energy's yeah. so good. Yes. He gets the crowd going, mm. and he comes back, and I go, uh, "How's it for early Thursday?" And he goes, "You know, he hasn't been doing it that long." No. And I didn't want to tell him, "Hey, Thursdays are usually tough." Yep. Even though he's been doing, but sure. You know, so especially during quarantine, Thursdays can be a little tough. Oh yeah. So he gets off stage, and I go, "How are they?" I could tell he goes, "They're a little tired, but you know, they come around." And then, uh, then Chappelle goes out there, and Chappelle comes back, and he goes, "Man," and I go, "How were they?" He goes. It's fun out there. I'm like, fun? That's a weird thing to say. Then I go out, I'm like, oh, I eat dick. Well, I can't. I, I you, you came out and I go, how are they? And you go, they're there, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're there, they're out there. And I was like, <laughs> what? That was a weird answer. I come out like, here goes everybody. Huh? Huh? For show early It was Thursday. the strangest <clears throat> thing. And then we were all a little down. I'm like, well, and then late Thursday was crunk as shit a crunk like, as there shit. it is yeah crunk as shit and how about saturday night late show how about saturday four shit four like, o'clock show how about saturday four seven, seven and nine show? killers killers it's a great show with all of us too it was so much i want to do I that so all the time fun. stevie and there's my dick so first of all <laughs> we're all swimming and brian's hang lingering around yeah. just <laughs> lingering around winning in the water hmm. wearing that stupid hat and finally, I'm saying what everyone's thinking. I go, dude, get your old dick and balls out of yeah. our face. My dude. war hammer. And I said, and you know been through a Your lot. sin stick. <laughs> my your sin, sin stick. stick. That's my sin I stick. I said, get your sin stick. there's been a lot of sin. And that old honey pouch yep. out of my face, dude. Yeah, that's, that's... And then I said, you know what? Stay there. Let me get a picture. And I posted that. I am disgusted by my body. <laughs> I'm looking at my torso. I'm looking at my chest, my white skin, people and think that you're, people, heavy sack. People uh, think you stuffed your uh, boxers. I unfortunately I did. He not. does it. I'm telling you, as a pe I laugh when we're naked, like uh, like if we're changing something. I just laugh at your body. You just have a. <laughs> he has a really like fat droopy dick. It's like I got a it's dick. It's weird. You yeah. did. You started. I came. You I was came laughing. in. You came in. You just saw my dick all because it was hot and it was just hanging like it just don't care. Oh, like dude. a big old lazy son of a like bitch lollygagging. Like a sack of meat in yeah, the Texas sun. He doesn't sun. move much. He's just a big old dick. And you get you came Red. and started laughing so hard. You got you got a dick. <laughs> and, he, and then Jay came in and started laughing. You guys were just laughing at my big just old dick. Just at your dick laughing. <laughs> 
Yeah, I do pretty well in that Matt department. Barnes, but Matt I find that hey, picture Matt, to be Matt, so disgusting. Matt Barnes put, damn, no girls? <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was great. Boy, oh, boy. God, we had a good time. We had such a good I, time. It's the perfect with Stevie, Malik, Jay, uh, Chappelle, uh, Chappelle yeah. Justin. I love that you it, call him Malik. M- what do His you call real him? name is Malik. Malik. But it's okay because you can call him Malik because that would be like what mo- any black man named Malik is Malik. But Malik, his dad was like, nah, your name is Malik. It's so tough. I know. But so Malik, uh, but it's just the perfect combination. No, the it like, it's like the perfect Lego piece. And we even had a wrestling match. Do, Me, you, hold on. Uh, you go to Stevie. If you go to Stevie's, uh-huh. look at my, Matt Barnes' all guy swim party? <laughs> question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, <laughs> By the way, that looks so incredibly, it's so so aggressively gay. How about the video? How about Malik, the best hype man of all time? This I was, was this, shot the video. you were dancing like that guy in that video. It was so funny. Let's Hopefully, play, people play realize what that video is. <laughs> <laughs> How great to leave. back and then the manager <laughs> walked in <laughs> the manager walked in. the manager walked in when we were wrestling everybody tried to last to oh, see how long they could oh, last with first Brendan. of all hold on Oh, was it Friday? It's Friday night or Saturday night? Friday night. Friday wrestling. night. Friday night wrestling. Malik goes, "Oh, dude, uh, Friday night is Friday wrestling night." Yeah. Goes, what? He goes, "Yeah, we wrestle on Fridays in the green room." He goes, "We did that in Houston." I go, "All right, man. I I want nothing to do with. So I'm mm-hmm. sipping my whiskey, relaxing." Mm-hmm. Go to Stevie Blue Eyes post. He's he a posted f- the video. He's been there. boxing his whole life, so now he can't live down the fact that you do with that shit to him as a as a wrestler. He doesn't know what to do. It's on his uh, story. I put it on my story too. Oh, you did? Yeah. I just hope people don't think uh, that. <laughs> See, you gotta sit out here. Now, Brennan here, that's the seatbelt. Oh, God. God. Look at what that. What they don't show is Chappelle's tapping himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was so worried that you were gonna hurt somebody's neck because you just, you know. These no. Guys were... Look at Stevie. Go to him playing the fucking guitars. He can rip, man. I asked him in. Uh, why is he wearing a rabbit suit? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he wearing? You know he's self-taught. I so when we're driving back on Saturday night, I go and I. It's true. I go. God, I'd love to learn how to uh, play the guitar. And uh, Stevie goes, dude, I'm. I couldn't. I can't tell you chords. I can't. I don't know. Like I can't teach any of that. And then Chappelle goes, me neither, man. We. Built, I just like learned when I was a kid. Because we couldn't teach him. Like, fuck. Thanks, guys. I know. <laughs> I, I always think back to I got I was signed up to play the piano, take piano lessons at 13 years old, and it was a scheduled thing, and I just said no, and I should have done it. But you either have the you either want to do it or you don't. Dude, how much fun? Look at just look at those posts. How much fucking fun do we have? The best. Look at the one with Chappelle singing. It's the best. Where I didn't see that one. Rapping. You were on stage then. Oh. It's oh, the, it's so good. Between the uh, first and second. He's got a show. good voice. Look at my <laughs> 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 He was mate. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I fucking love those guys. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you is. <laughs> He's so stupid. He's so fucking Holding stupid. Holding my nuts, he goes balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this shirt. We great? had so much fun. I want to do that every fucking weekend. I'm, I'm, I would die if we did every weekend. I but know, yeah, I know. Other. I'm li- I'm recouping a little bit because I went to bed. See, Daddy gets all wired up, 
Then I went to bed at four. <laughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't sleep. And I was back up at eight. <laughs> I know uh, what you're thinking. I know no what you're one, no one, no one got sleep. No one got sleep. I could, well, I Chappelle can't, wakes I can't up and laughs so fucking loud. And you you wake up at seven no matter what. No matter what, because the kiddos, Damn, I'm up. Dude. So if I go to bed at three, four, I'm getting three hours of sleep. I was so tired. Oh Plus, God. you know that that uh, angel heart whiskey? Angel Envy. Angel's Envy. An Angel's, Angel's Envy. Envy. How delicious was Outstanding that? Outstanding bourbon. We drank, went through four bottles. Yeah, it's a Kentucky bourbon. Papa yeah. had a little hungover. I landed and got an IV right away. <laughs> you did? Right away. That, when, when I have a hard weekend like that, I get two IV really? bags. Really? Maybe I should do that. Two IV bags and vitamins. Really? Yeah. Who I'll does do. that for you? I need to do that. There's, I connect you to the lady. You do that that NAD stuff? No. Uh, no, no. Just I replenish nutrients and fluids. Oh, wow. Because you got to think we're not drinking enough fluids. No, we're, we're sweating. Not. No, we're not. We're drinking whiskey. I try to drink a lot of water. Yeah. Right? But, the, but the IV just, you'll mm -hmm. feel instantly better. Like, I feel better today. My, I'm lucky because I'm able to sleep a lot. I just sleep. See, I can't. You can't I sleep. I go. Jealous. I go. I stay deep. If I'm seven and a half, eight hours, I'm going hard. How about, I take a little how about when we nap. first got in the car to go wherever we we're gonna go? Oh, to the workout place, and the the uh, thermometer read 114. Where the fuck? Yeah, was? yeah. I was like, dude, where are we gonna do? It's a dry heat. <laughs> I, I I secretly went and looked for rattlesnakes in the little area up across you the didn't street. Find any, huh? Saw some snake skin. Ooh. Saw snake skin. I saw Roadrunners for the first time. Yep. This just thing, kids, they don't look like Roadrunner uh, no. that gets away from Wiley e. Coyote. Right. They're pretty small. Yeah, they are. They don't have big legs and they are not friendly looking. Nope. I uh They're kind I of like, built like, I, like I like Scottsdale. Scottsdale's great. Yeah. Didn't give a fuck about COVID, did they? Don't give a fuck about COVID. If Brian Callen was a bird. I go into the knife tomorrow. I had to go get swabbed. Oh, daddy's getting oh, his crap, lids oh, done oh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Daddy gets his lids done tomorrow. We should document at it. At 6.30 a.m. <laughs> oh. Now, I know. Too early. Too early. Why so now, early? Well, that's how they do it in Beverly Hills. It's the only time they can fit Papa in. Well, then Papa goes in at 6.30. I'll probably, the surgeon will probably get there at at, at uh, Jason, Dr. Jason Diamond. He'll do it at, you know, probably uh, 8. Is he working on the con It was so funny. I, I look at him. Yeah, I looked at him. I go, uh, no, no cocaine, no blow, uh, no blow, no whiskey. Like the night before, if you don't mind, because you're going. He goes, I'll get to bed by four. I promise. <laughs> I'll get to bed by four a.m. Don't worry about it. And now, is there He's any so chance that they could have a hiccup and you look like a sniper for the rest of your life? I said to him, I said, now listen, I can't have you fucking this up. He goes, there's not a chance. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I go, yeah, but I read on the, like I was, I was saw. What about Droopy Eyeless? He goes, oh, you've been on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. Well, don't do that. Don't YouTube your operation. So what exactly are they doing, Papa? They're going to take, they make an incision Take here, an inch off the top? They take, they take f the, this, well, the they take They're going to take the nuts off the top. They take these lids. See when I squeeze it? Yeah. They take, they that take those nuts. And then up, they're going to go, oh, they're going to go lower. The bottoms. They're going to go lower, and they're going to take a little here off here. Oh. Apparently, I, he said I would do it. You're getting bottom and then, surgery. And then they shoot a little fat in the eyelids oh. from, from my little tummy, I guess. They're taking so you do, how do they get the fat out? They they do a, a liposuction and I guess they oh, spin it. Getting lipo? You're getting lipo. Well, tiny bit from my, under my away? eyes. Look, I don't like any of this. Are shit. you gonna take your tummy <laughs> away? I don't have a tummy, a bro. Of a tummy. God damn it! The, the, are you going under for this procedure? Yeah, I gotta go under. <gasps> oh, I don't like that. That's why you can't drink or oh, eat anything like for twelve uh, from twelve. I, I can't believe minutes. you have to go under. Dude, why don't like you it. take some skin off your dick? I could have them do that. I could, I <laughs> why could don't you have them cinch up your nuts? Sack. Cinch my nuts. It's up. down to your got, knees. Yeah, bro. I got some issues. Um, damn, you have to go under. There's nothing scary. Yeah, it's not scary. Kanye I've done it West, before. Kanye West's mom died. Yeah. <laughs> Get an elective surgery. Well, I did it. I did it for a colonoscopy. They stick a camera up your shitter, and then I did it for my double hernia. By like I don't That's know how terrible. long ago. Yeah, going I, under is so scary. But when you I can't a, believe you have to go under to do that, though. Um, do you know that my stomach was never the same after double hernia surgery? Oh, I, bet. My, I I I was like I had that pouch, like it bloats out a little bit. Yeah, that's what I have from fucking from my surgery. How many surgery? How many times you been under? Just one. Uh, uh, for twice. Your nose. Twice from broken hand nose and broken hand. Broken nose, broken hand. Fuck. It's though. It's so. Well, scary. when they pack you, when they unpack and it's you, so in your scary. nose. scary. Uh. But I'm just saying, when you're going in there and they're like, "Great, count to 10, it's like cold, yeah, and fuck. You're, you're basically naked. It's cold, your and dicks all. It's like your dicks the smallest it's ever going to be, because <laughs> you're about to go under the knife. It's cold, and your dick goes retreat. I know. And by the way, I think about that. I think about the nurses looking at my my tiny my tiny <sighs> dog. Yep. But luckily, this is my eyes, so they shouldn't be looking at my dick. Although well, you shouldn't be naked. Oh, you gotta get your tummy. 
got my son. My just, son. If, while they're in, I got to talk to him about. While they're that. in there, just do the thing. What's that? Just like suck all of the fat, right? Well, uh, no. Not that there's that much, but you might as well if you're in there. Yeah. I, I, I don't even get my lids painful. done, but I could use a little lipo. A lipo. Careful, you go down this this road. Mm. Uh, I mean, now I see shit. Now I uh, see no, like I had a I had a doctor hit me up and shows me what they can do with people before and after, and it will blow your mind. It blows your fucking mind. I could mind. come here looking like a giant Mario Lopez in oh, two yeah. weeks. They do. They can do anything <laughs> with no workout. Could eat whatever and, the fuck I want. And Jason Diamond is recognized by the other people in the field as the most renowned facial surgeon. He doesn't just do plastic surgery. For, for bodies, you go you, you go ahead and take go on down to TJ. There's a guy down there that a lot of celebs go to. You stay there. You're there a week. Is that right? Recovery time's about seven days. Tijuana? And they'll take your your stupid, frumpy body and turn you into fucking Mr. Olympia. Tijuana? Tijuana. Tijuana? Because uh, our boy's girl did her ass, her Brazilian butt lift in, in Miami. Miami. Miami, yeah. And then she got it done. He paid for it. That's a major she, operation. Our buddy paid for it. She looks ridiculous. She went, see ya. Mm. Yeah. Savage. She is. She's a now savage. Now she only does anal. Well, congratulations <laughs> on that. She, You have to massage your butt. I can't You have to that. get massages for like six weeks. It's crazy. Uh, okay, I'll do it. I know. I mean, I'll be the massager. Let me help you out she's with this. So you have bad. to massage the fat into the... And he paid for it. Yeah. Fuck. But pretty soon, you're going to be able to use stem cells and grow your own tissue where you need it. That's going to be awesome. You're going to be able to grow science breasts. Is, science is going so much. Every dude, if he wants to be shredded, it's going to be able to be shredded. You can, I'm telling you, you can do this procedure now and get shredded. And the fat never, they burn it so fat can't grow. Seriously? There. What do you mean? They like, sent me a whole pamphlet on like, what? I'm just not that. What do you mean? I'm just Who not did that? that kind of. So you can get, you can get shredded. I'll, 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 I'll I'm, I don't want to out the thing. I'll send you the stuff they sent me. And you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. It's nuts. What the fuck? Nuts. I would imagine you could also take Wenstrol, et cetera, and just get shredded. But but you have to be on Wenstrol and do, like eat clean to get shredded. This, they burn it and can't grow back there. What? And they, they can actually sculpt the abs. Weird it's, shit. And, no thanks. And they, they, they have over 100 people. They, they show before and after. You're like, holy fuck. It's so tempting. Bring that shit But up. it'd be so obvious. No, what is it called? That. Well, here's my... Uh, yeah. Well, the problem is, is like... I'm not so superficial where I do it. And also, can you imagine if I died that way? <laughs> and then Tiger in Boston, like, how'd your dad, you did, you know, he was, was trying a comic? To, he was, yeah, I know, he had this weird body at this point. He was a good guy. <laughs> he was a great guy. And he, he wanted His tummy to get, always bothered him. He left you guys to become more shredded. <laughs> <laughs> because at the end of the day, his vanity was more important than both of you. So carry that with you the rest of your life. And if you need me, I'm going to be busy, but I'll be around. <laughs> For a phone call. But probably here, pretty man. busy. Pretty busy. Because you don't know what happened to Kanye West, mom. So she wanted everything done. Face, stomach, lipo. She wanted like titties, Aww. ass. She wanted everything done at once. And she went to several doctors. And then I'm sure she went to Diamond. All of them went, nope, too many. You're under the knife too long. Sure. There's so many complications. Well, finally she found one. No. Some guy went, I'll do it. Kanye West, mom, I'll do it. Against all protocol, did it when she passed away. Well, he she was down for too long. License. No, he did. He oh, he did. Dumbass. But still, it doesn't matter. You can't bring the mom back. Fuck. She got done lipo, face, tits, oh, and then never well, woke up. Never woke up. You got to be careful. Look good in the shit. casket, though. Yep. And there it is. <sighs> um, what would you do? What would you have done? Only your ears. No, I wouldn't touch my ears. No. I'd have this guy, they sculpt, they take whatever fat you have. You have a they very full they mouth. They sculpt you. You have a full mouth. You absolutely you I need some absolutely lips. no Women pay a lot of money for these lips. They pay a lot of money for those lips. You got tits, and you got a full mouth. Got there a dick go. on me too. Not like yours, but no. it's you know it's fun. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You have a fun dick. Fun. You were Brandon was flapping his dick. <laughs> oh my god! So I, was, I was reading. Well, he, he has the best shower, so yeah. I went to use his shower. We yeah. had music on there, and then he was reading, and the door was like this, and I started flat. You could only see my <laughs> dick. <laughs> his dick. And I videoed he that. Fil I didn't, he filmed it. And I sent it. I sent, sent it, it to Leah everybody in the house. I sent it to Zillian Rogan. I sent it the to... The worst is Rogan doesn't even comment. Roman Matt. doesn't even comment. I, 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 he'll like, never, I send Rogan pictures of my dick, and he just never says anything. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. Just maybe, maybe show me your piece. Or just give a th at least give a thumbs up so I don't feel like complete fucking moron. Yeah, exactly. But I no, mean, nothing. 
but I called it happy dick. Malik had a big problem with it. He's like, bro, I'm fucking trying to take a nap. You sent to Malik, right? Yeah, I go, I go, I go like this. I just sent him that video and I go, cool. <laughs> yeah, Malik goes, fuck you, Brennan. He kept saying, like, what's wrong with you? He goes, that dick video. I'm like, what dick video? I didn't know you filmed it. <laughs> yeah, you did. I want to send it to people. And I was flapping it. It's important. It was flapping in the wind. Yeah, it was good, though. It was a good piece. Yeah, it was like. Nice and, nice and flappy. Yeah, it was cool. Well done. Thanks, man. Got to do the helicopter sometimes, too. Helicopter up. It's amazing how immature we are, huh? And I have no excuse. I'm so You're much older. older than everybody else. You're older. And I'm, it might be the worst in some ways. Hilarious. Yeah. But who cares? No, it's It's fun. still fun, and I'm still getting away with it. I know, so, we got to figure out how to do it again. Well, I really want to do that. In, I got, I'm doing, especially in Corona times. July, I, what, 17, 18 or something, I'm doing Addison, Dallas. Maybe we can do it then. Uh, what, when am I in? Uh, are you doing Spokane? Uh, they're supposed to let me know. Sold out show. So what, are you in Dallas same weekend? I'm in Salt Lake, 16th to 18th? Fuck, yeah. Damn. But then what else do you have coming up? Nothing. Dallas is your last one? For a while. Why? I don't know. I'm doing Denver. Am I doing Denver in August? No. Well, yeah. according to this. We could crush Denver. You talking about daddy's hometown now? Imagine. Yeah, I can. I'll probably go. Maybe we should do I'd Denver. I'd love to see my friends and family. Maybe we should do Denver. Will we get a huge house? Get an Airbnb. Like a serious one? Or stay with Klopp and ruin his house. Bring Klopp, the, let me and Brian and all of our black friends take whole, over your house. <laughs> just bring the whole gang. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. And Stevie's going to keep your kids up all night playing the guitar. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, you don't have many dates, Daddy. Mm. Ooh, Miami would be fun. Bobby. Miami. Miami is my favorite. Miami is my favorite. <laughs> Miami's weather makes me feel you need, fucking You need to have Luis Gomez loose. open up for you? I have my new fucking eyes. Oh, dude, I didn't even think about How that. the fuck? I'm going to look dude, young you as shit. Did he, did, did that, not, he probably didn't specialize in, did he, I'm not even trying to be funny at all. Did he say anything about your hair, though? Like, well, did he say, well, he go, did he say when you're under, you know you could give you a full rug? His partner is the best hair transplant guy in the business. And you have no desire? I would, but I mean, if you do you know, your one head, thing I'll at do a time, and also it doesn't matter to me. It's not going to make a difference. Let's be honest, bro. You with a the problem is if you start doing hair? this, you become an old guy who's getting work done. Can't or or are that. you the old guy with great hair? I don't believe that uh, my hair is salvageable. <laughs> I don't believe. Well, that. no, that no. We're gonna get shave that. We're gonna we're gonna scalp you and we're yeah. gonna put some new product well, on. Well, that when I can when they can clone hair, Daddy will have your hair. Believe me, I will walk in with a full head of hair and new eyes. I'll be great. But until then, I'm not doing it. Oh, you know who came to our show? You're gonna uh, you you're gonna die. You weren't there. Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> Derek, Derek, Darius Rucker. Darius Rucker. He's country, yeah. What yeah. a great guy. He's a fucking That's awesome. How about he Brian didn't know what songs he sang? I, I, I love and him. I go, he's such a good uh, guy, but I didn't know uh, he was I didn't know he was so big. Brian in goes, does he have money? Uh, uh, Darius no, Rucker. No, your brother is, said your brother said he's so rich. Well, he's go, one of my favorites. I go, who? What do you mean? Because I thought I he was slow played I thought it. Hootie I slow played it. I went like this and went, I didn't see you over there, brother. Yeah, I, I, he's such a nice guy, but I didn't realize how. And then how I turned to him and went, was. "Don't think about it." <laughs> Do you know you don't know his jams? No, we play him, we get demonetized. But he's a big deal, I guess. So I mean, he big. he's got a Grammy award winning. He's still crushing he's it. In other so words. big! Wow. And, and and I said a joke and it didn't go well, and you didn't hear it. And I went, "Hey, dearest," he says, he's leaving. I went, "The dolphins make me cry too." <laughs> And then I stood there like this. Uh -huh. And he went, cool, man. I went, it's from your song. He goes, I know. I went, I'm going to leave now. And that was the last time I talked to him. Yeah. <clears throat> he came, He watched us. He loved it. Loved he loved show. our show, oh, huh? Yeah. Yep. Really cool. Really cool guy. Darius oh, Rucker. he has some fucking hits. Well, I guess he's still oh, I only want to be with you is the, yeah, is the dolphins one. make me I cry. Is that it? Yeah. All I want to be with you. Yeah. Yep, that's the All one. All I want to be with you. He can write. And then he went later, Blowfish, and mm. started doing country. What a story as a Let black. See his man. eyes for a second. Let her cry. His eyes. He might have. He might. He might have gotten the Brian Callen special. <laughs> well, you're gonna get the Hootie special because he did it before you. You're right. And yours is still to be determined, Bubba. Um. Ooh, he looks good. 
Hell of a golfer, too. Make a call right now. I don't think Make so. Call. He might have gotten Brian's Brian's list. I don't think so. Hmm. Good nose on him. Hmm. Hmm. He's a, a handsome fellow and a very talented man. Plays golf five days a week. Oh, oh wait. Scratch go back, golfer, to, go huh? back to Hootie. Do, do they still play sometimes? Looks Hootie like the it. Blowfish. That, I think that still... drummer right there used to always play with his shirt off, and I had a huge problem with it. <laughs> Well, you stop now because they're both like you 50. gotta stop. Yeah. How old did he say he was? When he's younger, though. Remember, you guys there. were comparing. He said he's fifty-one. He's fifty, I think. Yeah, I don't know how. Old he's he so talented. He was on this season of American Idol. Wanted to talk to him about it. Oh, he was. Didn't get an opportunity to. Why? Okay. Uh, there's a lot of people in the room. My dolphin joke bombed. <laughs> mm. He has so many hits. God, hell of a writer. Do you wish you were there now, Chin? It would have been pretty dope to meet him. You guys yeah. could talk music. Yeah. Oh, uh, Stevie posted a picture with, a, with hey? us and him. <laughs> God, get your <laughs> cock and balls God out of my it. face, bro. <clears throat> um, I don't see one. Maybe just took it and posted it later. Maybe Chappelle posted it. One of the guys, or um, Malik might have posted it too. <laughs> That's a good picture of me and me and. Oh, Grillo? Oh, look at you with your eyes closed, though. <laughs> yeah, that picture makes no sense, you know? Look at Grillo. Look at how rugged Grillo looks. Just a tough dude. He is. He's just a tough fuck. Well, he looks like he's been up for seven nights in a row, but whatever. <laughs> he's just, he, li- he doesn't sleep. He sleeps five hours a night. He's the only person I've ever seen who can live well, there's a lot like of guys five hours, like four that. hours of sleep. He's incredible. I've never seen him like it. He just doesn't need sleep. There's a few guys like that. But I just, I remember my agent Check said, Mollick's. I said, Frank's going out on auditions. And my agent goes, you're not Frank Grillo, Brian. You don't look like Frank Grillo. I don't know who is. No. Jeez, no one's supposed to No. Uh, Maybe Chappelle. Chappelle did that. Because Chappelle loves him. And I say maybe. Oh. Oh, nobody posted it. Interesting. Son of a bitch. Maybe in their stories. I saw it someone. Who else? Mm, who else? I said Maybe. And I say maybe. Oops, wrong one. I don't know who the fuck. Who else was there? Got a picture with him. Was it Justin? Maybe because I don't see Justin in these. I don't know. He wasn't there. I don't know. Oh, maybe Jay did. Did Jay shop? Yeah, Jay did. Uh, Our boy, uh, yeah, Troy Conrad can take some pictures. Troy Conrad can do his work. Boom! There it is. There he is. I only want to be with you. Look at Malik's legs. <laughs> <laughs> Weird joke. He said, "Looks like he looks like he got up from a wheelchair." <laughs> oh no! That's what Stevie said. Stevie, oh, was, Stevie was in a wheelchair. Hey, Stevie hey, was in a wheelchair. This looks, like, this looks like a Hootie and the Blowfish make a wish situation. And then he was like, no, you know what? Let me get out of the wheelchair for this one. Stevie, Stevie was in a wheelchair for from the age of 12 to 13. Oh, yeah. He got all fucked up by a car. So he, that's what, he was the one who said that. He goes, you, you look like you've been a... God, Stevie's had a rough go, man. He's had a rough go. His parents are shitheads. Yeah, well, I don't... He was in prison. Yeah. He, was, he had cancer. Yep. His girlfriend's a, a porn shit. star. That's pretty good. Now he's got a shoehorn, a lucky shoehorn up his ass. Now he's doing well. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to start taking him and Malik out. Malik. Out on the road. Well, I have bad news. What? They're coming with me. <laughs> you can't steal my features. You can't be, you thief. And that's weird because we all got to be together, huh? I know. It's true. God, that whiskey was nice. Yep. I it's do feel like we have to figure out a they way re- to. They make replenished them. it every every show. Every show. It's a lot how, of guys. How about I got all drunk Friday and the manager? What was her name? No. Rachel. Rachel. Right there. I, oh, the bottle's empty. Went, hey, see what's wrong with this? She goes, well, it's empty. She was all, what? We were all like, did you just say that to Rachel, you son of a bitch? You tapped the bottle and go, this needs to be full tomorrow. <laughs> and I was like, she was, I was joking though. <laughs> It was so good, though, huh? Oh, it was very good. Angel's Envy. And the fried rice at that place. Very good. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it was like wild rice. Oh, how about your boy, Kevin? Uh, Kevin Bay. Kevin Bay took care fitness. of us. Shout out to Kevin Bay at Hybrid We fitness. did a workout. Yeah, that dude. I love working out with Kevin because he never hurts you. Like, he just does, he knows exactly how to warm you up and get you in a workout situation. 
We were at that gym. What was that CrossFit gym we went to? That was good. And they were like, the, all those like competitive weightlifters were there. Some of those CrossFit girls were insane. Oh, uh, yeah. That as one in, main one hot, was ridiculous. As in hot as shit. Yeah, that main, main one got a personal best, I guess. She, she broke some record of her personal Yeah, that made me not like very CrossFit cute. when she did that. But. Yeah, but very, very cute. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, the hybrid, hybrid fit club. Hybrid fit club, yeah. Yeah, he knows. He, he trains a lot of baseball players, but he knows his shit. He knows his shit. Yeah, it was fun, man. And he brought don't. I was like, what are you, the best guy ever? He, on Sunday morning before we're leaving, he was, I brought you donuts and coffee. I'm like, he's the hey, best. dude, I'm not going to suck you off, man. He's the best. Kevin's just fucking. I always hang out with Kevin when I go to. to uh, Super nice guy. Arizona. Yep. Yeah, it was oh, a, yeah. It was a grand time. There he is. Time. Stud, too. Look at him. Look at the kid. There you are. <laughs> nice 230 pounds. Dress well. It was a grand old time, wasn't it? A Phoenix grand, a grand old, old time. time. It was a grand old time. Did you live in Phoenix? Yes, I could, Brendan. You know what? Scottsdale? I'm going to say this right now. I've been here for 25 years in Los Angeles. LA? If you said, Brian, pack a bag, you got to go to a lake in Austin, Texas, or you got to go to Arizona, I wouldn't fucking Papa, look back. I, I, I wouldn't look back. I said back. that to you on Saturday. I wouldn't miss this fucking place. Hey, hey tough guy. I, I wouldn't miss this fucking place. But I said those exact things on Saturday. I said, pack your bag. You're the only reason I'm still in L.A. I know. And he went, well, I got to figure this out and this well, out. I got I went, kids. <laughs> All right. I got to move them. I, but you just said, if I said that, you would go. You're the only reason I'm still in L.A. <sighs> Let's let Rogan be the canary in the coal mine. Let's let him kind of figure out, figure Texas out or wherever it is he's going to go. And then we'll... You know, I always say, Joe, you go all, do all the work, and we'll come over. And, <laughs> and then he could buy us houses. I, no, it'd be if he wants us close to him, he should buy us houses. No, Papa, I got my own money. You might need that. Though. I know, hey, but I just I'll think get you. Nice. How about I get you a little guest house? I'm being a pool boy. Mm. <laughs> I knocked the room. Just walking around. <laughs> I knocked the room. <laughs> um, let's do some Yeah, dude, events. as soon as you say you can go to Texas, I'll buy a house. Fuck. You're the only reason I'm still That's in all LA. I think about. I'm the only reason. I had a talk with Showtime, to, or, you know, Malka, was like, can shoot below the belt, I, everything. The whole squad would be down to go. Theo was like, I'm not married to LA. God damn. What if there's a massive exodus, a comedic exodus that goes to Austin? I'm just sick of the shit around here, Oh, man. why? The traffic and the fucking the 13% homeless? taxes. Dude, some homeless took and a shit homeless? by my coffee shop. You ever see, you ever see a Nancy? Shit. A human yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. You ever see Nancy Pelosi's fucking district in, in San Francisco? Yeah, take a look at it. It's just homeless as far as the eye can see. How's that going? She's a fucking, cunt. They're all just like, I don't know, man. Gavin Newsom, how'd you do in, in, in San Francisco? I'll tell you right now, now gonna, Pelosi would beat up Garcetti, though. Garcetti's a giant. Well, I, I, I don't know. Look, I don't know what it's like to run a massive economy like this, but I think they, they're not doing... No, I'm talking it's, about it's him as so a funny human how, being. It's so funny how if you think government's the answer, take a look at the fucking homeless crisis. It's hilarious. It's just fucking... It, it's just, yeah, but for, remember, you're like, dude, if you tell me, all right, well, I'm telling you, as soon as you say, hey, everybody's down, we'll start the shopping. Yep. And going. Yep. When I'm in San Antonio, don't be surprised if during the week, during the day. You're going to be at Hotel Emma, and I'm telling you, you're going to call me as soon as you walk in and go, oh, let's move here. I understand, but I'm going to drive the 45 minutes, one hour to Austin, and I'm going to go and look at when property. Are you in San Antonio? I'm in Next San Antonio, week? June 25, 26, 27. Yes. Is that the same time I'm in Spokane? That's, That's 10 next days Thursday, so. Friday, Saturday? Yeah. Well, That's Spokane. In up in the air. 24, 25, 26. So I'm going to drive down to Austin. Okay. Let me oh, say it again. 20, 25, 26, 27? I need a broker. I need a good broker. Because they were supposed to let me know. Spokane, there was a little bit of a scare. Who's got a good broker in Austin? Oh, I'll talk to Rogan. Bet he has somebody. Me undies are, without a doubt, the best underwear on the planet. Dude, the picture That's I posted fact. in Phoenix with yes. you, with your three-piece set yep. in my face, yeah. I thought... The only thing that's missing is a nice pair of me undies. I know. You're wearing those old, the, nasty, the, the, I put grungy those on. I put those undies. on because I, I was going to go. I go, I'm going to put those on to you get in You want to get wet. The, right. I go, I'm going to get get wet with the chlorine. I don't want to mess with my me undies. They are the best underwear in the world. Committed to standing up against hate and intolerance, creating a world. They're giving back, Hope outshines fear of all people. So they give back. Mm -hmm. um, Dude, MeUndies has this brilliant thing called MeUndies Membership, 
where every month you get the softest undies ever right at your door. They show up at your door like magic. Oh, dude. Oh, mm-hmm. and you also get site-wide savings, early access, free shipping. It's pure joy. They, talking about micro modal. Oh, it's irresistible. Modal. Soft, sustainable fabric. Fabric encases your three-piece set in your other regions. Oh, snug them up. Oh, man. man. Snug these you ever, nuts. You ever, you ever put your nuts on a cloud or your other or your privates on a cloud? Oh, That's snug what them, like. daddy. It's the Undies amazing. offers a range of sizes from X- Dress small for Brian to four double X for me. That's right. Meundies has a great offer for you guys. For first time purchase, you get 50% off and free shipping. 15%. You got to give this super soft try for your nuts. Uh, it truly is. They truly are. Dude, the give, them, give them 50% off. Free shipping, Brian. You want 15% satisfaction off? Guarantee, 15% off your first order. Free shipping. 100% satisfaction guarantee. Meundies.com slash fighter. That's meundies.com slash fighter. Oh, daddy. Talk to me about whoop. Oh, my God. I thought you'd never ask, dude. Because so, you're into fitness. You're into optimizing your training. Dude, do but, you like do you like fitness? Yeah, but tell me what Whoop you provides. you fit these nuts in your mouth? What? Hey, listen, everybody. Yeah. Take the guesswork out of your workout. Listen, I used to ride a stationary bike. I'm like, oh, it says I'm burning 1,500 calories. Weird. I'm gaining weight. Uh, uh. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. So my fat ass got a real bike. I'm like, I know I'm burning calories. How many? And I'm guessing. And, you know, I'm trying to micromanage everything. I'm figuring things out, but I don't know. So then I reached out to Whoop and said, hey, you guys are the best in the business. All you got to do is wear this little bracelet. Because you wanted your, you wanted tracks. feedback on recovery, strain, and sleep. Dude, and sleep. they test. The, the, you know how they get their numbers? By taking your heart rate every freaking second, 100 times per second. 100 times per second. It tells your output, tells your recovery, your strain. They got it all, man. It's a performance tool to your workout. Take the guessing out. Don't do it anymore. You can get uh, Damn, $30 off Whoop. Damn. Yeah, dude. $30 off Whoop. They have their 3.0 strap right now. It has five-day battery life, improved strap, live heart rate monitoring, in addition to a handful of new in-app features. All you do is download the app, connect it to your little Whoop band, and hit the trails, bros. Sleep quality get is Get $30 one. off. That's Whoop.com. Promo code is THICK. That's THICK with three Cs. T-H-I-C-C-C. At checkout, save $30, optimize the way you train. I'm talking performance tool, measures recovery. Scroll down, please, Chin. Your strain, your sleep. Do you know how good of sleep you got? I don't. Of course you That's don't, That's why I'm dude. so intrigued by this. You have no idea. Strain yeah. coaches, all right? They got it all, man. That's whoop.com. Promo code is THICK. Three Cs. THICK. I was telling Chin, uh, uh, my girls brought my baby by, who's... The average size, the average. But Tony Baselli babies, he's enormous. He's an enormous baby. But uh, I fucked it yesterday when I was telling Chin this yesterday when I was unpacking. Tiger likes to watch music videos. I just play them on YouTube. It's just like random, like fun videos. Then the weekend's new videos on there. Have you seen it? No. It's so dark and like scary, and his head gets cut off. I see Tiger like this. That's a big problem. Oh, uh, well, oh, why? Because I had to stay in his room from two a.m. to six a.m. Got no oh, sleep. Oh no. I had to sleep in his bed. Oh, that's a big problem. Oh, you know, and he loves the weekend. He goes, weekend's a bad guy. I'm like, no, oh, he's pretending, fuck. Papa. Ah, like you don't want to see somebody's head come off. Yes. No, you don't. That's a big problem. Yeah, Papa fucked up. <laughs> hopefully being at school today, it, like he forgets about it. Well, hopefully he doesn't cut everybody's head off. <laughs> that's the other With side. With a machete. It. Blame the music video. I know. All right, what else? What do we got? All right, this is the first one. Okay, so the show Cops has been on since 1989. It had 25 seasons while it was on Spike, and then I think it got... Oh, no, while it was on Fox. Moved to Spike, and now the week that the George Floyd protests happened, they pulled Cops and canceled it indefinitely. I don't get how that helps the narrative, because Cops, those guys are being filmed, and they weren't bad guys. Are they also canceling First 48? I don't know. Americans, uh, the, 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 the problem that we're living in is you have corporations that are all of a sudden all pro Black Lives Matter because it affects their bottom line. And you have Twitter that goes crazy. And you have just extremists who are running the narrative. And so anything now that has to do with cops and seeing them in a positive light seems to be a what? Is that a threat? Or is that, is that suggesting that you're racist? Like, what are you talking about? So Dude, I, if they I, shut down I, first 48, I'm going to freak the, the, the fuck world. out. 
I saw cops so is many a cases. great fucking show on a weekly basis. They'll they'll bring cops, cops back. They'll bring shit. it back. They'll the bring first it back. First forty eight's amazing. But I'm saying people love to watch it. They'll bring it back. They must it, look how long it's been running, dude. It's just it's it's this it's this right now everything's on fire. You can't sustain you can't sustain insanity. It'll come back. Things will come oh, back. Oh, get the latest news information about first forty eight A and E. Find out if the first forty eight is cancelled or renewed. They said live P D is canceled i mean i guess that show's doing people like watch stuff i i you know, i'll stop if there's nothing on i'll watch it but it's always the same shit yeah first 48 always in oklahoma or new orleans it's a good show yeah it's a great show yeah what else you got show. so a couple of days ago vanessa bryant went on to instagram and posted on her ig story saying that she had to block a lot of fan accounts after the death of Kobe and Gianna because the algorithm had it that <sighs> since so many fans, yeah, all she would see were photos of them and her as well as her daughters couldn't handle it. So they went out of their way to have to block fan accounts. And a lot of fan accounts asked why they got blocked. She just wanted to address that it was too hard for them to see. That makes sense constantly. when they open up Instagram if in the algorithm that she would just see pictures of her dead husband yeah. and daughter. Mm -hmm. That's I don't. It. I can't imagine what she's going through. I really can't. I don't. I, yeah, well, she has other kids, but yeah, if that I was mean, me, it'd be hard for me to. It's keep a disaster. On, keep that on. It's a disaster. It's terrible. I cannot imagine. I'm sure they understand why she blocked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Hopefully. Hopefully. Dude, of course. I, Chappelle showed me some of the DMs he gets. Dude. Racist. Oh my god. Really. Yeah. So like when he opens up my show, he's like, "Look at what some people send me, dude." I was like, you should screenshot that and post so people know what you're doing. Wow. It was awful. Oh, wow. my God. I awful. didn't know he got hate DMs like that. I mean, not yeah. all the time, but, but dude. But, you know, they're racist love like, when nobody's looking. That, well, that's why I told him you should screenshot and post so people know what they're doing yeah. and get that account out yep. there. It's a weird thing. Uh. And there are, there are, I know you were telling me, then there are stories about People come out of the woodwork in all kinds of things. For example, there's a young lady who is a comic, very heavy. And she said, just watch. Watch my DMs, and you'll see how many men who are at the show are secret. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, thick, thicky chasers. Mm -hmm. They're thicky chasers. Oh, uh, the, uh, there's that famous trans transgender girl. She's like, oh, your favorite celebrity is in my DMs. <sighs> She's like just banging, has a huge cock. Fantastic. Is yeah. that true? And she's like, oh, you're, you're, you're those hardcore rappers and shit. They're my deal. Ah, I love it. Yeah. So well, it all comes out in on your DMs. The racists, the perverts, the whatever. Or they're not racist, you know, and they're just like, it's just such a cheap shot. They're not they're creative at all. They're just being pieces of shit. Yeah. This, it was so bad. Like, oh my God. Man. Man, there's there three go. end bombs in there. What? There's a monkey reference with a mic. What? Oh God. What? It was bad. I'm like, dude, you should screenshot this and post it. Fuck. Man. He didn't know how to deal with it because he didn't deal. I go, this is how you do it. Dude. So you report it, do this. Yeah. But it, but they're private accounts, right? So you can't see who the who the assholes are. And it's always yeah no no these these dummies don't have the common hmm. decency to have their pictures on there. They're too scared. Yeah, they're too scared. Too scared. Little cowardly bitches. Mm. All right, well. Speaking of human shit, um, <laughs> the actor from the show Arrow, his name is Stephen Amell, yeah. and he's had a dispute with his neighbor for about three years because they've had ongoing illegal construction going on, and he finally had enough. He went over and tried to talk to them about it, as well as his wife. They got into argument with their neighbors and then he posts onto his Twitter a photo of shit on the roof and he says that his neighbors came over and shat on his roof. Shat. Okay. Well. Our next door neighbor has been illegally doing construction for three years. I've li When I lived in the Palisades, I had the same problem. The neighbor was doing illegal shit and they get the city permit, but he was a big power attorney. Dude, he would shut the road down to get these big trees he wanted in, so no one could get in and out of our cul-de-sac. Wow. And my neighbor is like an 80-year-old that had to get picked up from a nursing home. So they would like wheel him around like the co the construction. And we're like, what are you doing, dude? No one could touch this guy. He's super powerful, dude. And was doing construction around the clock. It's so fucked up. Jesus. I'm surprised the city didn't come and find him. I shut him down. Well, they, they just find you. You might have worked for the city. 
Yep, or they fine you and you just go, cool, I'll pay the fine. And you just do it anyway. This guy was wicked. That's the other baller. thing you can do. This guy was wicked baller. Oh, I'm sure. I was like, you, you want to do what? But I think that's hilarious that somebody took a shit on his roof. Because mm-hmm. for me, I wouldn't, uh, I'd be like, all right. I'm sorry, I'm, all right. I wouldn't acknowledge it. You took a shit no, on my roof. You, you baller move was shit on the, the doorknob. Yeah, I mean, if you're <laughs> shit on my <laughs> roof, it just dries up in the sun and it's fine. <laughs> if you want to shit on the I can't car. smell it. No, that I'm like. But right. also, where's the toilet paper? That guy <laughs> just took a shit. Cass huh? got upset with her after we did everything we could by being neighborly. Cass called out multiple times. Don't say Cass, though. Say my wife, because you're not that famous. The next day, she Cass snuck into our backyard and shit on, on our roof. Day. Next day, she snuck on into our backyard and shit on her roof. Are you, is, she, is he sure that she did that? That's a pretty badass move. It's more of a claim. Uh, we don't know if he has like footage of this that he's just not showing, but he's pretty adamant that she came and shut on his roof. I guess he's very certain about it. Huh. Mm-hmm. Are we going to just ask about how Stefan... Was she hot, out? though? We don't know. We don't know what the neighbors look like. How the fuck are you on someone's roof? Yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Especially without them noticing. Also, you know how angry you'd have to be to climb somebody's roof and shit on it? <laughs> there are people that pay good money. The joke's kind of on you. It's like you did all that work and it's like, all right. There's, there are people that pay women good money to come over and take a shit. Oh, yeah. In their toilet or oh, yeah. in their toilet. On a plate or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then oh, just yeah. leave it. Yes. That's a yeah. fetish, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you want to make there me are people. Do that. <laughs> how, about, how about Brian uh, put some stuff in his ear this weekend to get the earwax out of oh, his ear? Oh, fuck. I was and getting black, like Black wax stones came out of his ear. I Big J Shop was like, yeah. Uh, he threw you gotta, up. He goes, yeah. Uh, I go, come you know, and look what? at this. Come I, over here. He was making me mad. I go, get it out. He goes, you got to see. Uh, Brian, uh, and starts throwing up. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with <laughs> he, you? I made him come here. <laughs> and he goes, he threw up. It was now. I could even throw it off. Why did you have that in your ear? Because I get earwax in my ear, and you 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 put the solution in, you just use water plunger, and it's like this yellow wax. Kind of no, it's dark, dude. Black. Yeah, it's good. I was getting vertigo. It made me want I get, to do it. I get wax build up. Everybody has it, but sometimes you have to clean it out if you're me. Some people just have it. They, like, you know, it's just fucking. I, I wouldn't get, mind doing it. You it should. Looked, it looked refreshing. Oh, it does. You feel like, ah, you can hear. All of us have it. It's just some people. Some people get it, so it pushes on their inner ear. So it I remember this hot girl in elementary school. Would she had these cones? And you'd set yeah, them on those fire are bullshit. Though it sucks it out. That's what they say, but it's not true. It didn't do it. No, it's it's a bullshit thing. It's and this like, girl brought it for show and tell, and I was disgusted. It, it, so so watch. Really, really, do ear candles really work? And they sell them still. You, uh, what comes out of ear candles? Yeah, did that? All it, this. Uh, what's you see it, it, What's it what called? Uh, homeo. Homeo. Placing a hollow candle therapy. made from a. F- uh, yep. The, Outspeed is finished. A brown wax substance bleed by ear candle practice. It makes up earwax, debris, and bacteria left in the candle system. So my professors, when I went to audio engineering school, audio engineering school, they said they did it and it changed their the way they hear. Tell them to shut up. <laughs> you see this ear candling practitioners? Yeah. Uh, Reiki healers, ear practicing can, can practice people who work with crystals. They're all fra- frauds. They're all phonies. All of them. There's zero. There's there's zero effectiveness to it besides the placebo effect. They're all frauds. They're all actors where it didn't work out, and now they're healers. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. If you're a healer, you're a liar. How's that sound? <laughs> oh, and no, Brian, but there's some exceptions. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. If you practice astrology, tarot cards, uh, fucking healing with your hands, but you don't touch them, all that stuff, you liar. You liar. Okay. <laughs> but if it says it just removes earwax, and that's huh? it, that's the only claim. If it yeah, but it earwax. doesn't. So, but it <laughs> <Okay>. doesn't. <laughs> All right, okay. I would. Let, it looks so refreshing. I'd done it. Yeah. I would do it. Then I then I was like, man, all my all this wax, but they're they they have beeswax. So then I burnt it without it being in my hair, and guess what? The same amount of wax came out. Mm. You know how they draw toxins from your feet? Have you ever seen that? Where they put your feet in a solution and all oh, this yeah, brown comes real. out? Yeah. That's a lie too. That's a lie. You're all liars. <laughs> you're all liars. And if you pay for that stuff, you're dumb as shit. Yeah. I knew an actor who went to a healer and the guy told him to go to an intersection and break a fucking egg on his stomach. Did he do it? He did. And he's his name is loser. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> no. And look how This he's guy's done. a fucking <laughs> dummy too. You're a dumb dumb. Well, I need to. I, then you bring What's that, your sign? Get that ear solution. Huh? Let me bring that ear solution. I will. It's great. What's it called? 
it's just you can get it at the pharmacy. It's just it's it's a it, it loosens the wax and then you take a, a plunger and you take water and you plunge it out of your ear. It's great. That's okay. it. Deb rocks, right there. Deb rocks. Uh huh. Okay. Deb rocks. It's awesome. All right. Maybe I'll start the thin boy Deb rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Deb rocks go. Uh, okay. Come to San Antonio with you. Really? <clears throat> wow. Okay, so this video of a protester twerking in front of police officers it? made it onto Barstool. Dude, uh, it was uh, Asa Kara, porn star. Shout out to her. But she posted a video of, uh, during a protest, this guy getting sucked off. Oh, oh I see that. The guy was holding the sign like, oh, you know, Black Lives Matter, and he's getting sucked off. I'm going to see I want to yeah, see that. pretty cool. She posted on, like, Twitter? Yeah. Okay, you want to see Yeah, Twitter lets that stuff go. I guess. Gotta now we'll that. get demonetized. Wait, wait, if we do let this. me see what let me see the torque. We're gonna get thing. demonetized if we do it. All right, let's not watch it. We'll show it to Brian just for kicks yeah. and edit it. Okay. Look at us, sis. Look at us, sis. Oh Look no, she's not naked. Those are pants. Look at us, sis. Look at us, sis. Oh, well, that's a professional stripper, y'all. Yes, it is. Yes, it slapping. Is. I love it. Oh, that's yeah. a real stripper. Oh, oh. What is that? I love it. She's a lady. She's a lady. Yes. Now she's a lady. You don't know, no yes. That is beautiful. Yes. yes sir. She's got a great ass. I mean, yes, sir. I, yes, sir. 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 Yes, Cops are all like, cool, oh. man. Yeah, we're just sitting nice. here patrolling. So that was fantastic. Yeah, we're just trying to keep everybody safe. All right. In your face, cops like, like please just keep generally, huh? Just, just any being others? Mad at, just being mad at all the cops? Any okay. others? That's helpful. You know what would happen? You know what society would look like without cops? Good luck. Good fucking luck. Drives me nuts. That's all right. Ooh. I love awesome. Oh, free nudes. Love awesome. Mm hmm. Yeah, keep going, chill. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah. Brian, get your piece up. Uh oh. Keep going. Keep It's a good start. No. Keep going. No. <gasps> okay, keep going. Oh. You can't miss it. I was watching it when I was on the plane. I know the guy next to me saw me looking at it. This is in May twenty seventh now. Oh, weird. What if she had to take it down? I mean it's yesterday when I was on the on the plane. Go back up. Maybe it's not there anymore. I don't know. Do they put the uh, porn stuff on a different no. feed? Uh -uh. She's still making yeah. porn. Oh yeah. She had a kid though, I think, right? I think so. I think she has a kid now. Yeah. She's such a baddie. Another weekend's out of the porn stars. Man, where's it at? It was on there. Oh well. Not anymore. Who's that? What's that? Never mind. No, let's get out of here brilliant. before we get kicked off. Of, uh, uh, what about this? They demonetize our shit. No. No, weird. Okay. Next time. I don't know if there's going to be a next time. But Things yeah, I wish sure. I could. Instagram.com. What else you got? Awesome. Um, did you guys watch Dave Chappelle's special that came out? 846? I wouldn't call it a special. I'd call it more of like... Miniature uh, special? Not a special. He's not doing jokes. But it's very powerful. It's fantastic. So it's free on YouTube, right? It was, it was from Netflix, though. And he mentioned something about Don Lemon. Yes. Okay. I say. So he talked about Don Lemon, and then... Because Don Lemon was calling everybody out, saying, "How you're quiet now, you're quiet now, and Chappelle goes off on him. He goes, yeah. I didn't need to do anything because the streets are doing the talking for me. He goes, sometimes you don't need to say anything. Correct. Correct. I guess now silence is, means you're a racist, too, so you can't win. This and he goes, answer point. me. Do you want to see a celebrity uh, right now say what they s want, like their opinion on it? He asked the crowd, and everyone goes, no. He goes, do we give a fuck what Ja Rule thinks? That's a bit from him. Uh, does it matter about celebrity? Lemon responded, I think that young people who are out here in the streets don't really care what we have to say. His special called 846. That's time, how long that cop was on the guy's neck. That's mm -hmm. what he called 846. He's talking about this issue, and I think it's great he's using this platform to talk about it this way he can. Oh, yeah. So Don Lemon agreed. Don Lemon suck you off now. I think he got married to a man, so I'm, hopefully he doesn't cheat on his husband, Brennan. 
I'm just saying okay. if you were single. So I doubt he would suck me Dude, off. you get your lids done? You get around Donnie? Donnie's a handsome CNN kid, isn't Donnie? He? Yeah. Yeah. He's part uh, of the media, though, that scares everyone. Yeah. So he's he, off the, my eye. Don, Don. Like, you can't suck me. Doesn't Don. impress me with no. his, his reporting any more than Tucker Carlson does. Uh, Jay Farrell. Uh, I heard about this. What is this? He shared a story about being having oh, a I cop. Oh, I thought this was recent. It was pretty recent. He said earlier this year, I think. So this is a story about him getting a, having being misidentified as another black person and the cops kneeling on his neck as well. And there's actual security footage when he's talking about it. So I'll play some of it here. Been in Ventura. I see an officer to the left of me. I'm not thinking anything of it because I'm a law-abiding citizen. And also keep in mind, I got my Bose headphones on. No, noise canceling. Noise canceling headphones. So it's really, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my zone right now. I look to my left, the officer, the I see him coming with guns blazing. I see, him, I see him say, get on the ground, put your hands up like you're an airplane. As he's looking at me, I'm thinking that he's making a mistake. So I'm looking past where he's looking. I'm looking at him longest. and I'm looking past me. Yeah. I'm like, whoever hoodie. they're about to get, me. it's just about to be terrible. No, he was coming to get me. Four officers got their guns blazing. They tell me to get on the ground, spread my arms out. They put me in cuffs. The officer took his knee, put it on my neck. Um, it wasn't as long as uh, George Floyd, but um, I know how that feels. I said, why are you doing this? Like, what's wrong? They said, you fit the description of a black man in this in this area um, with gray sweatpants on and a gray shirt. Um, I told them, I said, if you look Google right now, Jay Farrow, you will see that you made a big mistake. A minute later, after I was detained in cuffs, and keep in mind, they've already asked me, do you wanna, you, you wanna sit on the side? I'm like, no, I don't even wanna be on the ground. They come back, they say, we're sorry, uh, we just got a call in that it's not you. I say, yo, get these, get these, excuse my French, get these effing cuffs off of me. I had never been in cuffs before up until that point. I'm a law-abiding citizen. You know, I'm from the Burbs, you know? Luckily, my parents, what they did was they tried to uh, shelter me and my sister for years. So we yeah. never saw that. I haven't, I didn't experience firsthand racism in America until this year. Black lives always matter. My life matters. Let me see I'm still here to tell my story, but I could have easily been an Ahmaud Arbery or a George Floyd. And I'm not, and I could tell my story. So I will tell y'all, this is what you need to do. Educate yourselves. Educate yourselves on the laws. Understand what the cops are saying to you. So if they try to flip anything on you, on our young black men, our black men in general, we have the knowledge and we have the power to overthrow that because we, we're well-rounded. We know what's going on. Be in the know. He's a smart guy. Mm -hmm. oh, I love Jay Farrell. He's a smart guy. You know, you can't expect him not to be mad about that, you know, but um, and I think what's really interesting is I've been watching a lot of debates among black people, black liberals, black conservatives, but I've been doing this on YouTube. It's really fascinating because... One of the things that the white liberal left tries to do is suggest that all black people think the same. They, they create this fucking fencing around them and they, 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 they treat them like that white people need to protect them. It's got to be so fucking condescending. And I think what's interesting is that if you listen to black, the average black person who gets together in a group, they have, they're all over the place like anybody else. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a different point of view on this. And one of the main things you start to hear is this idea that they have to figure out they have to help them themselves and get them. They'll always talk about the fact that they have work to do within their own community. Yeah. And that's, that's what I love. So there's, I, this has sparked a whole debate among, it seems to me, um, you know, it's heightened the debate among black people. Okay. You guys remember that Imagine thing that those celebrities did? Oh, like with Gal yeah. Gadot. She's like, talking about all white celebrities. So embarrassing. <laughs> The, so the, these white celebrities who are like, we, I take responsibility for They're what? Like, I'm not going to stay you, quiet these guys, any longer. Are you guys going to help you? <laughs> Look you, at you, all these dude, cunts. Dude, good, good for me. Hey, dude, you know what? Now that you said you take responsibility, <laughs> white celebrity, whoever the fuck you are, I bet, I bet all the boys in the hood are just breathing a sigh of relief. Guys, uh, guys, Aaron Paul and all these other actors are taking responsibility. Thank God we're safe now. <laughs> 
Thanks a lot, Dr. No Helps. You fucking shut the fuck so, up. So what about this, Jen? Well, oh, obviously, my God. The majority of people agree with you guys as well. This just, just doesn't God, do, do anything. Yeah, and so, so Ricky Gervais himself. Hollywood, they're so embarrassing. Where the oh, fuck Oh, no, you guys? did he recreate one? No, no, he was just talking about it. Good. He goes, terrible lack of diversity in this video, first of all. <laughs> which is a joke. And then... I can't wait to go bad on this in my stand-up. This is all I'm writing. Uh, this is another thing he wrote. I think that people are just a bit tired of being lectured to. Now, so always think the general public needs to see my face. They can't get to cinema, so I, I need to do something. Yep. Agree. And it's when you look in their eyes, you know that even if they're doing something good, they're sort of thinking, I could weep and. Could I could weep, weep at what, what good a good person, person I am. Oh, dear. It's yeah. so true. You can totally tell they're literally like, don't forget about me, y'all. Yeah. yeah. I'm on it, too. You're like, using we're making this. making fun of this comic who's posting this. Oh, God. This black lives thing you're like dude where where were you a month ago where were you doing the kaepernick stuff where were you where at were you all? Where, where were you when 82 uh, black young black well actually 82 black people from toddlers to the age of 74 were shot in chicago in one weekend if you all of a sudden hollywood now is like wait is this popular let me jump on here and get myself on social media your social media posts don't mean a fucking thing they don't make anybody safer they don't make any black lives better Get the fuck out of here. It's so condescending. It's so embarrassing. I swear to God, it's what I said before. It's like they're literally like cats chasing a light beam. You go from one movement to the other, mm -hmm. and then you lose interest. Like, this is my thing. How do they not know that this is lame as shit? How do they? Because they're so out of touch. How do they not know that this isn't? Because they're actors. Like, we're all going to light them the fuck up, black, white, Asian, it's, whoever you are. Nobody sees goes, oh, Man, powerful. They're good people. Yeah. Man. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks for doing it. You're you doing so idiots. much. <laughs> thanks for standing for equality. Like, oh, and, and I, I stand for inequality. Thanks for standing for peace. And I stand for war. What the fuck are you saying? Ah, they're the worst. They're the man. worst. <laughs> She's and they one of my do favorite actors. I don't. I don't give a fuck about her. Who is that? <laughs> she was in the OJ. Not OJ. Yeah, I don't yeah, care. She was in the OJ her. thing, right? She was in OJ. Yeah, Look at this horror guy. story. Look at this fucking Look at this guy. You Look at these fucking oh, actors dude, with trying to act like they give a fuck. It's so embarrassing. And whoever put this on is a fucking yoker. God, there's a lot of yo people I like in a there. A bunch of yo-yos. Yeah, a bunch of dumb. I don't dumb. give a fuck about any of them. No, you're all off my island. Out, uh, out. I don't who's know. that guy? That's Justin Thoreau. Uh, easy. Uh, yeah. He's my North Star with fashion. <laughs> fuck about that guy. No, either. easy. Is he wearing a beanie too Get like out me? Of here. Get out of here. All easy. All y'all. Yep. Get out of here. She's in there too, which is a bummer. Okay, Kristen Bell is the voice of Frozen. So Allie Raisman? Her pass and Who's Jason that? The, the Olympian girl? Very cute. Oh, Allie Raisman? Very, very yeah. cute. Yeah. She's very sexy. But also, I don't give a fuck. Hey, guys, I get oh, it. Oh, God, <laughs> that guy's the worst. Take action, it, 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 it Take takes action today. Oh, great movement. Whitesforblacks.org. <laughs> God. I'm so That's embarrassed. I, get, they, I truly they might as well get call it that. It's so... It's so cringy. I'll tell you what. And even black people are like, what? Go, to, go into the black community and, and find children that don't have parents or are in the foster system and, and, and raise them. How about that? Do everything you can to make their lives better, I mean, but you're not doing that. You're busy. Huh? That's no lot. shit, but that doesn't do anything. No, this so makes me upset. Oh, it just makes me hate Hollywood more. I just, I, they're so embarrassing, dude. Every Oscars is a new, it's a ah, new cause. The Oscars Every disgusting. Oscars is a new cause. It was transgender. It's me too. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, what, it's a thousand. It's whatever things. the flavor of the year Dude. is. Let's rip our masks off and get into a group of a thousand now. Because fucking, it, it was oh, old how, people, how now when, it's blacks. How about when I worked Oscars and they're like, oh, you have to wear a Me Too pin. I'm like, I no, remember that. I'm like, no, I don't. Yeah. Like, you have to if you're on air. I'm like, I'm not wearing it, man. Yeah. I don't know enough detail. I'm not into this. Yeah. Not, not that I'm, I it's, want women to be raped. Not, I don't know the enforced, logistics. It's enforced. It was right when it started. Thing. I went, I'm not wearing this until I get more notified of it. it it's group they couldn't think. make a change on, on, on air. I'm and like, I'm you, not doing if it. If you don't toe the line, you you will get boycotted. Yeah. Your business, you will I get I fired. I did end up wearing one, but the point <laughs> is, is I gave up a little fight. You had to. I put a little fight but up. But you had to. I don't think I wore one, to be honest. I went, I went I'll wear it, because they wanted to, they're like, well, we wear a rose. I'm like, yeah, whatever. But I'm not wearing a pin that says me too on it. Yeah. I'm not part of the problem. Right. It's embarrassing. I think, like I always say, I, I think that the net result at the end of the day is going to be It positive. moves the ball forward. It's going to move that the ball forward. That sets us back. That uh, makes me ashamed Cops are to be going right. through a hard fucking time, and as we always say on this show, the majority of cops oh, are how about, how about, how about kicking when I, ass How about when I was people. walking to the Phoenix uh, uh, stand-up live, this guy goes, oh, dude, big fan. He had like this thing on his wrist, and it looked military. I go, you military? He goes, 
cop. I go, tough, tough time. time. Tough goes, time. Very tough. I had a Vegas cop. I, I don't know, I'm like sorry, that. dude. Yeah. Can't do our show. We have a lot of cops. We can't. They're, and and obviously, and I think everybody knows this, including people in the movement, that the majority of cops are great people, <clears throat> do a great I mean, job. Yeah, there's some, pow- there's some power. There's some power. Get assholes cops. in every group, yeah. and they ruin it for everybody. You have assholes in every group, and they have to be held to, uh, to account for sure. But those people, I, I those have to say, I have paying. to say, what's your take on it's a, it's a t- t- touchy subject? But when that when those two white cops in Atlanta got in a fight with that black guy, and he was resisting arrest, and then he punched, I think both of them in the face, and then took the taser. got away and took the taser my, and turned and a, shot at. My them. problem is it's excessive force. You need to kill that guy. Yeah, the only problem. You know what the problem is? Yeah, is because those guys don't do well in high function situation, high stressful situations. Yeah. They go to the the result, which the equalizer is the gun. That guy shouldn't di- uh, die from. But that. my question is, he, he should have got fucked up. I agree, he didn't he deserve to die. die. I agree, I, uh, but but as a police officer, when if somebody shoots you with your own taser, your body locks up. Now, you have to know that your your partner's there. The partner, both those guys, don't know where really that 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 taser is going to hit. It happens in a split second. You just got in a fight with the guy. The guy punched you. The guy's strong. He gets away. He takes your taser. He shoots at you. What I'm trying to say is that if you, in your training, you, if your body locks up and he comes back and takes your gun, you can die. So, so, so explain to me how you as a human but being, there's another a ter- person as a ter- there. there's another cop there though. Right. right. But they might've been terrified. I'm just saying, I, I, I'm just saying, I don't I think, think any, and none of us have been in that situation. It's a panic. It's a panic. It's a panic shoot. move. It's a panic move. It sucks. But that actually, uh, for in the po- police training and manual, is considered a legitimate use of lethal force. It just is. For the precise reason that in that situation, if your body locks up, you can't defend yourself. Neither one of those cops may have known where that taser was going to hit. So you panic, you pull your gun, you shoot. I think, I think you can also say that if you are a citizen and you punch the cop in the face, fight him, and take his taser and try to shoot him with it, that's not very safe for you. A cop is... It's a bad idea. A cop is going gonna, is gonna to try to save himself and maybe shoot it's you. It's a bad idea, Right, yeah. so, so I'm sorry, but some of, the, some of the responsibility must rest on the guy resisting arrest that way. I mean, that's, that's, pretty, that's a resisting... That's pretty crazy. When you're, when you're that strong, fighting off two dudes, punch them in the face, and you turn and point a taser at him. I can understand. It, it's I understand. Weird, it's weird I agree. I agree. It, I agree. He didn't deserve it's a to lose, panic lose his life. Move shooting them. I, I, I agree. He didn't deserve to it lose his be life. Your last. I agree. It's excessive. I agree. But those cops also want to go that. home to their family. Well, too. that's what I'm saying. But, I, I think. I think it was a panic move. I, I, I think. I mean, I, I don't know. I've never been. I've never been in that situation. Because if he's shooting one guy with a taser, a taser's not deadly. I'm the other cop. Why don't you tackle the fuck him and tase him, dude? Why would you go from a distance and shoot? I don't know. Why? I, I, I don't know because I've never been in that situation, right? I don't. It happens so fast. Who knows? I don't know. It's weird to get I, your gun I, out I, and shoot a guy I, who's shooting yeah. a taser. Yeah. Look, man, maybe maybe we'll find out. Maybe when the guy turns with a taser, how do you know it's, you don't know he's he has a gun? No, they know. He's it's fighting. A, no, no, no. They know yeah. it's a taser because he, he took his taser, right? I understand. Yeah. yeah. And they're also yellow. Have you ever seen a taser? Yeah. They're not black. Yeah. They're a, a different color on purpose. It's, it's a it's a it's a tough one. Well, they both lost, but I, I, they both lost their jobs. Did they both? Yeah. I thought one one did, and the chief of police stepped down. Is the chief of the police uh, in Atlanta um, African American or white? Yeah, even the the attorney for Brooks. Right, right now, in this heat, in this white heat, woman. Yeah, it's a woman. Looks Look like a white woman. Right, right, she didn't right want to now. deal with it. She's well, like, I'm out. In, in right now in this like, in, fuck, in this dude. politically charged situation, that it's the worst thing you can do, right? So everybody is yeah, the cop, everybody's on edge. Even as a cop, dude, shooting a black man should be on the last, the last, last resort. My, again, again, sometimes if you haven't been in that situation, you think your life is in danger. Well, that's the problem. You need more qualified cops, isn't it? Or that was just one of those times when, again, in 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 technically that is a allowed and you would not be just in trouble so you have to you have strange. to well then if it you're gonna be if you can go back and change the, pol- the policing that's fine but can i ask you something if you don't how what what does that law look like so a guy a guy t- 
turns, hits, takes your taser, and shoots you with it. Your body locks up, then he takes your gun and shoots you. To me, as a, I, 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 the policy would have to be, that's, he's, that, you can't let that stand. Can't kill him, though. Well, if you don't have can't your taser, you, what do you do? Do you let him shoot you and lock up and then maybe take your gun? But there's another guy there, B. I so let's say you, you, me, and Chin. But you're not thinking that way in that moment when it happens so quickly, be. right? I guarantee you I would I don't be. know. I, I don't say that because I've never been there. I, my, my, if, if you and Chin are fighting, right, and you, and, and you get Chin's taser, I'm not going to... Why would you look, tase look, the guy? Look, why would you fight? Why would you punch the cop in the face and take his taser and try to shoot him with it? You shouldn't do that. You know what and I'm saying? Should, and he probably should have got a beaten. I mean, God not damn. not killed. I agree he doesn't deserve to lose his life. I agree that he doesn't deserve to lose his life for that. Like I, if I could turn the You're clock back, you, you I wish you he hadn't done, done that. Done. Wish he shot him in the leg or something. Whatever. I'm just saying that I think in that moment where you go, that guy's going to fucking tase me. I'm going to lock up. Here, you know, but you know. here's the problem be to play devil's advocate. It happens too often. Well, we're cops happened, like, oh, we just panicked. This happened guy nine times this. in 2019. No, no. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. You're wrong. Uh, unarmed, no, unarmed, unarmed. Unarmed. Big difference. Oh, but if you're armed and you're in a shootout with the cops. Yeah, you should shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So unarmed, nine unarmed is, of course, too many, but but a big difference between 100. How many more over the history of this situation? So there has been, with the, with the deaths of these, these men and the, the rallies and the protests in the past. Now I'm going to help your argument here. Police because have you, those un, unarmed situations, have you ever looked into those unarmed situations? I, I have, sir. It gets very dicey. It where, does get dicey. Where, where two, they, two of them, they tried, I think two got pr actually found convicted, but the other ones, it even went to, to court and those guys were kind of justified. It was dicey situation where the guy was charging. A lot of them were charging right. or trying so to So I had a police cop. officer. I had a police officer. But they tell weren't me. armed, so the cop shoots. So, so a police officer from Utah who is a giant Samoan man was explaining. He said, "Listen, dude. He was he's he's Samoan, and he works with he works with black and and Mexican and Guatemalan uh, people of the uh, people who are not white, and they're police officers. And they're SWAT guys." And he said to me, he said, dude, just keep in mind that just because somebody's unarmed and you're a police officer and they come at you and he goes, he goes, I'm 300 pounds. If I came at you and you were a cop, I can kill you. You're a small guy. It doesn't mean I can't kill you or do some serious damage to you or take your gun from you. So you have to all, like you said, to your point, just because somebody's unarmed and they come at you, these are, the, this is, this is now when we yeah, get into unarmed the Unarmed doesn't mean not dangerous. Doesn't mean harmless. Yeah. It means that you could be very dangerous. Yeah. So. That, that, the, we yeah, have I'm, to I'm, say... With the unarmed one, I'm with yeah. you. With that one, it's like, come yeah. on, guys. You know the temperature right. of the society right now. To you the get, credit of protesters and to the credit of the black community who protested, they have, they've gotten taken to the streets and I think a lot of police departments have listened, which is why it went from 100 to, 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 to 9 in 2019. A lot of progress. Still work to do, of course, but a lot of progress. We have to like, just... It has to be... We have to take some perspective here. Mm -hmm. It's not all doom and gloom is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And... And when you give all the cops the finger, like these protesters, no, you can't that do that. Shit, it's you just, can't do that. it's just not helping anything. No, it's just not. It's just fucking not. What else you got, Jen? Let's change the subject here. Check this out. I'll just play it for you. What the? You can dodge a brick. You can dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great movie. <gasps> Yeah, I just saw this on Goal Center. Holy shit. It looks shit. like it's throwing bricks, but some people are saying they're styrofoam. But oh, it okay. makes that noise, that yeah, thunking they must, sound. They must be that they're styrofoam. Yeah, they would not throw real bricks at a little kid. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but he dodged them all. Good That's job on hilarious. that. Good for him. The little kid was a stud. Yep. Yeah. First, I thought it was just bad parenting. <laughs> uh, the last one. Are you guys into gilfs at all? Sure. Uh, all right, no, what do you think no, of her? No, I'm not. 62? Uh-uh. No, sir. Mm -mm. <laughs> 62 years old mm -mm. and apparently a lot of younger guys are hitting her up on That's her instagram nope, 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 nope. trying to hook up like guys it. you mean guys that grew up with mommy issues a lot of guys like an older woman no 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 no, no she's not like it. great for her age i'll tell you she that. does she, for for a, a grandma like, she looks great like the female brian Callen. <laughs> <laughs> let me see her when she was young grow up i think well, she, she was busted when she was young and got hot she really changed in a nice yeah it's not a good silver picture. butterfly works out all the time oh. good for her Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was busted for a long time. Mm, there you Whole go. Whole family was. Oh, there you go. I'm impressed. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's a good looking older lady. Eh, c'est pas mal, c'est pas mal. <laughs> Sorry, how old is she? 63? 62? Oh. Did you take a run at those wrinkly bags? I uh, <laughs> don't like the way you described her. Would you split a graham cracker with her old ass? Uh, well, I just saw another picture of a young lady. No, I, I probably wouldn't, but um, she's so I, I'm very impressed she's with like her. She's like the grandma of something about Mary. I, I'm impressed that she's taken such good care of herself. She uh, looks good. Yeah, she's she's yeah. a good looking woman. Yeah, a lot of young dudes after her right now. Oh, yeah, a lot of men like that. A she's lot getting, of men. She's probably getting a lot of young dicks. She's getting yeah. a lot, 100%. Good want. for her. Yes, good for her. It's she's right. dick down. God bless. I love people that fight gravity like <laughs> her and Brian Callen. And, other and we have surgery on tomorrow. Yeah, That's I'm how keeping bad you're it fighting tight. it. I'm having you're surgery on my knife. face. How superficial are you? I'm a fight. Well, dude, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> how did I get talked into this? First of all, my mom. I, it started with know. my mom. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It started with my mother. My we should call my mom to see. I guarantee she warns me about my tear ducts and all that. She just. She can find death in anything. Do you think this lady's had some work? Seems like she just works out. No, she had work on her care. kids. I don't know. I think I mean, they're real. Maybe. No, you don't. I think they are. No, Papa. Those Look at them. No, they are. No, you have that old thing that, that tight. Listen, if you take care of yourself. We're scrolling. No, those are fake, Bubba. Come on. Okay. Probably right. Uh, you might be I right. I don't know. Yeah, it might be right. It could be some of them old, saggy implants, though, you know? <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I don't like you that you're such an ageist. <laughs> you 37 now? Well, she looks fucking crazy there. What? Yeah, that's a tough sure. picture. Uh, 36. <laughs> no, you're not. 37. Yeah, you're at least 37. 37. You know what my pet peeve is? How young I am? No. It's when people... Forget their age? Yeah, when they know their age. No, no I swear to God, I, I get lost. No, uh -huh. I, I might be 38. Mm -hmm. I might mm -hmm. be 36. If you told me I was 35, that's fine too. I was born in 83. Yeah. What are you doing? A calculator? Nothing. Just hanging out. Talk amongst yourselves. You gonna call your mom right now? No. You gonna call Jay? Yeah, I am. Just find out how old I am. That's right. But Jay doesn't want people to know how old he is either, right? He, he doesn't give a fuck. Oh, he doesn't care. Jay's two years older than me. Jay, so he'll be at least thirty-nine, close to forty. Well, guys, my birthday is March eighteenth, nineteen eighty-three. I don't think we need to call my brother. <laughs> how old are you? He's not gonna. I'm thirty-six. Jello. Hey, Jay. Jello. Yellow. <laughs> how old is your brother? Shut up. What's that? How old's your brother? Uh, what is he? Thirty-seven now. Yeah. Yeah. I thought. I was Do you 36. have to be vague too? <laughs> what? No. You well, should know his age. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's thirty-seven. He was born in eighty-three. Yeah. Hey Jay, we're going to San Antonio. Yeah, I know. I texted you back. Do you want me to book your flight now? <laughs> yeah, look for a good I guess flight. So I guess San Antonio's going to be fighting the kid again. <laughs> I can't pay you guys though. <laughs> Hotel Emma. Marty and Emma. Um, hey, Jay Bird, you're on you're on the podcast right now. What are you doing right now? Oh, you do you still have those dogs that are impossibly hairy? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yep. What are they doing? Hair. Getting they, hair everywhere? Hey, they sleep in his bed. No, they just barking. Someone just rang my doorbell. They sleep in they his bed. They sleep in your bed. Those two. He has a dog that's over a hundred pounds. Mm. And they're the shaggiest. Are there pictures? Do you have any pictures of your dogs he on does. Instagram? Uh, or his girl I'm does. Nine. Maybe I'm. I empties my wife. I was hoping to see you. Uh, I was hoping to see your dong. Um, <laughs> I showed you mine t plenty of times. Hey Jay, how about when Brian that? did his earwax? Mm -hmm. Well, San Antonio is only a week away. Well, it's actually the twenty fifth, so it's ten days away. It's only one. Other well, maybe you can catch catch it at the Alamo. Yeah, there you go, dude. You're gonna pull out that big old angry hog. Yeah. Hey, hey, what? How about we uh, tan our bodies? I need to tan my torso too. You, you're, right. you're whiter than I am, bro. Yeah, I keep it white. <laughs> hey, man, that's weird. <laughs> you got, you got uh, your head's brown and your arms are brown. Everything else is white. Your, your body's as white as your dog's face. How old's your dog? Twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> she's a, like, she's twelve. That's an old dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a little older. Yeah. Well, they're real cute, buddy. Congrats Thanks. on your shoulders. <laughs> Thanks. Tell him to get that big dick out. Get that big dick out. <laughs> Weird. Um, I know. I know. You're you're a little too private for me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, did you have enough whiskey this weekend? Yeah, we had a lot of whiskey. 
That yeah. uh, Angel Envy with the made in that rum cast though is it's too good. They have another one made out of a port cast. Really? But is, is it that it doesn't have that sweet finish like the other one? It's still sweet, but maybe not as sweet. But it's good. I think yeah. the rum cast they got us though is a little bit more expensive. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Get my eyes done tomorrow. Do you have any advice? Um, I don't. I just hope it goes well. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Daddy, I'll see you in a little bit, okay? All right. Later. Bye. It's <laughs> great. All right. So I'm 37, man. 37. 37, pal. I don't even know anymore. That's still very young. Kind of. Yeah, you're 40, dude. I'm so much older than you. I'm almost 20 years older. I wasted a lot of time. And money. And money. I'm gonna get going here. Yeah, you got a lot of time. Dude, time's on your side. <laughs> <laughs> Will be when I get my eyes on. I'll look forty. Can't wait to be. You think 40. you're gonna look different with your? I'm coming in. I'm coming in the next day. Uh, I can't do anything strenuous. Yeah, I can't wait. So apparently, I, I'll have to. I may not be able to see very well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. And I may have to wear sunglasses. You get dro dro drove around. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got it. It's gonna be a tough one. I don't get why you just gonna go full bore, get your teeth done, a little off the tip of the nose, get your face pulled back. No, I don't want. If you're any going under the knife, only go under once, dude. You want to have to keep going under. I don't have to do any. Take of that. Tate, and if you we learn anything from Kanye's mama, it's don't keep do going it all. Back. Do it all. Yeah, do it all at once. All right, San Antonio. Is that it for current events? That was it. San Antonio, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh. There's a good chance Brendan Shaw might be joining. Is this sold out? We'll try it. Nope. You're welcome. <laughs> it's not sold out. I haven't it's promoted it I haven't promoted biggest it market. Yet. Hey, you're welcome. You're annoying me now. You stay at Hotel <laughs> Emma, okay? I'm going I'm gonna, to I'm gonna grant you access to my favorite hotel. Really? I have the owner's personal what we number. Should do, what we should right do now. is we I'm should a, go look right at now. houses in... San, er, in uh, yeah. Austin? Yeah. In if you're serious. Austin, I am. We'll talk about it. Kids, we love you. We love See you guys. Later. Thick Boy merch, thickboy.com for everything. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be in San Antonio. Uh, Spokane, which I'm supposed to be at next week. They're going to push that because you guys are dealing with some bullshit out there. Wow. They are going to push that till July 30th. Damn. Canceled. No, hey, hey, rescheduled, bro. All right, all right. So we'll do the bike right then. I love you guys. All right? Spokane, July 30th. Everybody's tickets, all the sold out shows, is, they're just getting pushed to the July 30th. All right. But I will be in uh, San Antonio with Brian Callen, Hotel Emma. Uh, I've been in Salt Lake City, sold out, Tampa Bay. And then we're adding um, Irvine, end of uh, August as well. All right. T5K.com. Awesome tickets just went on sale. Uh, and that is September 24th, 26th. Get your tickets. T5K.com. This thicky's out. This old man's out. Brian, good luck on your surgery. Thanks, buddy. This is the Fire and the Kid. We're out.